relationships celebrated. Unions memorialize in both tradition and innovation. Rare footage that show how the most universal of emotions become unique expressions of indigenous Philippine cultures. From coy flirtations in dance to charming spoken love letters, from symbolic conquests to journeys on the open waters, all reflections of our boundless energy. Kakaibang sigla sa pagsusuyo, pagkakaisa at pagmamahalan. The 11th season of Dayao ended with a compilation of folk dances. We began with a recollection of the games we played as children and went on to explore the different manifestations of Kakaibang Sigla, our ebullient energy. And this season continues that arc. This time we follow this energy through the cycles of life and love as expressed in ritual, chant, song, and of course, dance. Among the late Ramon Agusan's most charming recordings and recreations of a folk dance is the Lapay Bantige of Masbate. The late national artist recorded the dance during his research in the coastal barangay of Bantige and incorporated it in his company's repertoire. A mimetic dance that copies a movement of the lapai or seagull. The dance is just so full of the joy and whimsy of children playing by the seaside. And when adults join in, the lapai bantike becomes a dance of communal, feel-good vibes with everyone losing themselves in the inspired abandon of the dance. Traditional communities are the source of much of our formation. Our worldviews and values are molded by the traditions and rituals that mark the passage of time, the cycles of life. From baptism for Catholic Filipinos and other rites of passage for other Filipino cultures. From the exposure to the environment, to agriculture, and the livelihoods of their communities. The first flushes of attraction and love. To the different formalities that mark the social contract that is marriage. In the Ilocos region, traditional courtship is celebrated with the chanting of the Dalot. Dalot is an ancient folk song of the Ilocanos. It is 
sang in undulating manner. Extemporaneous, like, just like the uh, Dung Ao, and declamatory also. This mellifluous chant has many functions. Dalot, of course, is developed because this is a way of courting a woman. Dalot is done by two singers, by the female and by the male, and this is done alternately until they have said all the things that they would like to say regarding their intentions. Besides courtship, it is also used in the Ilocano version of the Pamamanhikan as well as in the marriage ritual itself. This is a way for a bride-to-be and groom-to-be for, for a wedding arrangement. At the same time, this can also be performed during their wedding ritual. This can also be performed by a man, a man and a woman. At the same time, there is a participation of other relatives or other members of the family. Dalut is usually performed for a pre-wedding arrangement. The, the Danun, which is the Panangas Asawa, is a form of Dalut which entails that the intention of the male to the female is being uttered in that part. After which, the Panagyawat, the second phase, would be the giving of dory, the giving of gifts, in the form of a Dalot. So when they, give the, when they give the dory or the gifts to the lady love, they have to do it in the form of Dalot. Ganito po ang agos ng dalot na aming itinanghan. Una po ang lalaki ipinagtapat niya ang kaniyang naramdaman nung una niyang makita ang babae. At nung madinig naman ito ng babae ay naging masaya siya sapagkat sinabi ng lalaki na siya ay maganda. At nagpakita rin ng motibo ang babae na mayroon ding uh, pag-ibig na nananalaytay sa kanyang uh, katawan. Ngunit, hindi niya ito tinanggap dahil Dahil ang dalaga po ay mayroon na po siyang minamahal. Kung kaya't hindi na niya pwedeng hatiin ang kanyang puso sa dalawang lalaki. Kaya siya po ay nag-focus na lamang sa kanyang iniibig at hindi na po pinagbigyan ang nanliligaw sa kanya. Kaya po sa dulo nito ay hindi po sila nagkatuluyan. It is remarkable how the Dalot, which marks baptisms, courtships, formal betrothals, and weddings, finds an equivalent in the Dung Ao, 
a chant reserved exclusively for death and burials. Dung Ao is an Ilocano tradition which means in English, Song for the Dead. This is a profession of pity for the dead and of course this is also a means for the living to express atonement for that setbacks and misfortunes he has brought to the dead. Of course, the Dung Ao is an expression of intense love to the dead. That is why when they do this, there's what we call the gashes of tears as a means of professing that the, the loss of a loved one is so difficult to handle. In my own observation, in our place, for example, I live in the rural areas. I do observe that the old folks, when they do this, it comes out extemporaneously, naturally in them. They don't have a script. Along with their, with their native hankies or their bellows, they do this as they wail over the, the wake. And then, but then when it is done on stage, if it is a performance on stage, theatrically, theatrically there is a script. But in the rural areas, no script is being prepared for, for, for that Dung Ao. The melody, of course, it has an undulating melody. It is different from other kinds of songs. This is a folk song, but folk songs are done with, with notations. Dung Ao doesn't have. At my age of 62, I have not seen any notation for Dung Ao or any musical score for Dung Ao. As I've said, it comes out naturally from the, the person who performs the Dung Ao. Ilocanos believe that there is life after death and so Ilocanos has a practice of giving the old clothes and other treasures to the dead so that by the time he is in his journey, he has still something to wear and to use. Two distinct Ilocano chanting traditions both celebrating love and affection for the living as well as for the dead. Philippine courtship dances are expressions of many things. The movements distill the characteristics of the ideal male and female particular to a given culture. The storytelling or narrative of each dance remembers the stages of attraction and love, while the expressions which range from coy to ardent are reflections of the giddy emotions that mark courtship.
Sina Kiki is a dance of hearts meeting in graceful sways and bends. Gala Ala of Bohol is a dance that formalizes a marriage. But the formality gives way to a spontaneous, fun filled celebration, usually performed by both the bride and groom upon their arrival from the church. The dance has been expanded into an entire suite based on the research of the late national artist Ramon Obusa. Obusan took staging liberties in recreating the entire atmosphere in which the dance is performed. The result, a show-stopping narrative. From the arrival of the bride and groom to the laying out of gaily colored textiles to honor the bride. From the spirited joust between the men and women To the pinning of rows of paper bills, gifts that herald an abundant life for the newlyweds. A poetic joust between a suitor and his beloved, but spiced up with a touch of comedy, a bit of romantic mush, florid demonstrations of anguish and despair, and topped with a sincere and honest desire to charm the beloved. This is the poetic joust called Ismailing. San masiplatan ko ni muka himo dayon nga na hindi gan kasing kasing ko pananglit ko inday ako manli puryo maruyag ka bana kun makon swelo a courtship tradition from Samar in which both the ardent suitor and his beloved answer each other in a spontaneous exchange. Actually, smiling, based on the research, is a courtship dance in poetic lines and in the form of a song. So, it started with Balitao. Uh, Balitao is an impromptu joust in poetic lines also. Actually, um, the, the purpose of the Balitao is for fun. So, there will be two performers or contenders then the, the performance will revolve around the, the contender's shortcomings. 
kayo yung iba magtatanong, balitaw or really? So, kaya tinatinawag, it's called balitaw. So, then, naging balak. Balak is an extraction from the balitaw. Balak is parang, in, balak is a right term, which means your intention. So, it's a poetic joust also. Then, uh, in 1800, it revolves during the Spanish period, it be, uh, tinawag na amoral or amoration from the word amor, which means love. And during the time of the Americans, um, binago na naman yung pangalan. So from bala to amoral or amoration, then to smiling from the word smile. Kasi nga, it's for fun. So nakatawa at nakangisi lahat yung tao. Ibiyang, akong hinigong ma, magpakasal na kita. Magpakasal? Kay Nano? Katrato tayo ikaw? Hi, Ibiyang. Ay nagad pagpakipon. Bisang diin nga simbahan. Pakakas lang tayo ikaw. Yung totoong smiling talaga, it's on the spot. Pag bibigyan ng topic o kung ano, on the spot siya. You love the person, show your love through poem. Through, and singing. Hindi lang hindi siya poetic lines. It's singing. On this part, so may hirap. Siyempre, kung ikaw yung babae, in the end actually, in the end, pag nagkakaroon ng partnership, in the end, nagiging sila at maraming kinakasal. By, by, by history, by records, talagang yung nag, nag, nagtatambal lagi, nagiging sila in the end. Bisan ka pa, guryo, magpahalas, halas, maguro, alingbot, sinin akun, lawas, pirikagad, guryo, Smiling is part of every kalbayongan. But unfortunately, um, for the young ones, they don't usually do it. Because it's impromptu. Pag nanligaw ka, pagkatapos, kung, kung sa daily life, no? Uh, nanligaw ka, pagkatapos, impromptu, hindi na, hindi na kaya. Very, very creative, very artistic. Tsaka mahirap. Kaya, bilib talaga ako sa mga mag smile It's the wit, the the artistry, the creativity. It's on this path. Napakahira, pero ang maganda. Unan hong kuman ang pakada, lagal pugot na ang ulo patikala wasa. Upay da naman la ang salamang tiro nga makada, lagan bisan waray ulo. Ugma sa lalaki, tuduha ka, Laing may sa una, unang may sa kasing, kasing. At sa kasing, kasing, upod lasal, hangin lang sa una, una upod lasal, buwa. Dispinsar sa imo, pati mama, rati si ako si, nagbang narasun sen, verti. Mga kong publikong mayada, sirti akong tuto, manong granding akong biti. Mga halat mo sa imuti, tigi sa kinabu, di ko ikaw buntan, swerte. Manining ka mo, bisan lakong, pubri akong tuto, manong granding akong biti. Titi! Ibiyang! Nano! Ang bot sa imo! Ibiyang! In these lowland traditions and folk dances, we see love and affection idealized in a folk manner that is charming and light. In contrast to this idealized romance, the wedding traditions of the indigenous animists are fraught with symbolism, communal memory, and ritual. In the coming episodes of season 12, Dayao features rare footage of the wedding rituals of the Tibolis of Lake Cebu. The Sama Dilaot of Tawi-Tawi, 
and the Gadang of Paracelis. Each ceremony, a reflection of an entire cultural cosmos, a wealth of Dayao, our knowledge, our pride.